Hi friends, in the previous introductory video to Python, we discussed some theoretical aspects of Python along with what makes Python a very easy but a powerful language. In this tutorial, we will understand steps of Python installation. I'll show you how you can install Python on a Windows machine. You can follow similar steps if you are using Mac or any other machine. Let's first download latest stable version of Python from this website. You can download any version of your choice, but generally we install a stable version because latest version might have some bugs during initial release. Let's download Python 3.7.7 .7 and install it. If you click on download button in fourth row of this table, it will take you to this screen and because I am using a 64-bit windows, let me click on python installer for windows 64 which is in 6th row from top. After downloading the installer, if you double click the executable file, this window pops up. Select customize installation and proceed. This window shows all the optional features. All the features need to be installed and are checked by default. Click next to continue. This window shows a list of advanced options. Check the options which you want to install. You should check the fourth checkbox which will automatically add python to environment variables and you will not have to do this exercise manually after installing python. Now let's click on install to install python on your machine. It will take some time to install. And finally this window pops up to confirm successful python installation. Now you can check whether python is installed on your machine or not. Just go to command prompt and type python. It will show you python along with its version that is 3.7.7 .7, which means python is successfully installed on your machine. So friends, this is how we can install python on our machine. Now we are ready to learn the coding concepts of python. You can write a python script save it with .py format and run the script in command prompt. But while learning python, we will not use this method. We will use Jupyter Notebook for easy writing and better visualization of code and code outcomes. You should download open source edition of Anaconda to access Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows us to create live code with simple handling of code and proper visualizations. Click on the first link to download open source individual edition of Anaconda. I am using 64-bit Windows machine, so let me download 64-bit graphical installer which is of 466 MB. It will take some time to download as it is a comparatively big file. After downloading the installer, if you double click the installer, installation starts. Click next to continue. Give your consent to license agreement by clicking I agree. If you are installing an account on this machine, for personal use, click first radio button, just me. Provide the path of destination folder where you want to install the setup. Click install. It will take some time to install. And now the installation is complete. Click finish to complete the setup installation. And because we want to use Jupyter Notebook, now let's go to Anaconda prompt and type Jupyter Notebook and press enter. You can see Jupyter Notebook has started and is running on this URL HTTP localhost port number 8888. Copy this URL and paste in the browser. You will see this type of screen with a folder structure of your system. 
now click on the drop down on the right hand side to open a new notebook having python version 3 this is the home screen of jupyter notebook here we will do required coding in python for our learning purpose we will be using jupyter notebook because here visualization of code and code result is better in comparison to simple command prompt for example if i type string hello within print statement and run this cell it prints hello just below the cell this is the advantage of using jupyter notebook so this is all about python and jupyter notebook installation we will start understanding coding concepts with live coding from next tutorial onwards in the next tutorial we will understand a very important topic of python python variables friends if you have any questions or comments you can always let us know in the comment section below if you like this content and want to follow this series on python then please do not forget to subscribe our channel